It's almost nine o'clock. We've got to go to work. Okay, everybody. Welcome back to some more Cowboy Brigandine. We are playing as Manus Lesia Theocracy today, and uh, we've already made some pretty good strides here. So we had one setback, but so far everything else has been pretty decent. Um, I'd have to say that uh, this is this is not easy. This is fair. This and we're also playing this on hard too. So it's hard and it's hard mode. So. Uh, so far what we're going to do today was we're going to try to knock out Morelva, get a few more knights, maybe go to questing, maybe replace some of our knights. Our knights, knights for Mana Celestia. I mean, let's just be honest. The rune area, the amount of um, mana points that you can get to hold them, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a struggle. It's a bit of a struggle. So we got a bunch of attacks going. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, um, just get into the attacks. We got a bunch of attacks to get into, so let's get ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. I have been working a lot today. I don't know if you saw the latest. I follow your banner. banner. But uh, thank you very much for the follow, <laughs> Durkin. How you doing today? Thanks very much for being here. It's cool. So we're gonna get into this. We're gonna set the attacks, and we're just gonna go. Okay, we're going to Droog first, taking Rudo, Emma, and this other little bishop dude. We're going to get into it here. So, if you're wondering what game we're playing, it's right there. Right there. Brigandine, The Legend of Renarsia. We were playing as Mana Celestia Theocracy. I didn't already say that, which I kind of usually say a lot of the time, but... Um, we're going to the teddy bear castle because it kind of looks like a teddy bear there. Uh, <laughs> how's it going, Durkin? It's going pretty good here. Uh, we're going to see if we can knock out this country today. I don't know. The divine revelation. Tenkeidato. <laughs> Lesser bloodlines were meant to bow to their superiors. Look at that. Apparently, uh, Holy Goose Vampire is the black blood of the country. I'm not playing as Tim right now, but... The guy's kind of funny. He... <laughs> He's kind of funny. Okay, Rudo. So, so if you want to see something really cool tomorrow, I'm going to have a really cool video put out. Um, still finishing up the uh, Morelva LP. Beat the boss. Beat one of the one of the bosses in four turns on hard mode. I think that's the first ever ever done for YouTube. So I think I quite literally have a world first there. Um, and I've got another boss fight that I have to do. I'm gonna put it out tomorrow. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna put it out there. And so that'll be pretty exciting to see. And so I'm pretty excited for that, honestly. I'm I've been having so much fun with Morelva. So much fun with Morelva. Morelva is an amazing country to play as. Absolutely amazing. And it, I guess it's because I like Ascalio too, but you know, it's it's really good. Don't give Norzalia a chance to steal Gustava Knights. <laughs> well, we'll we'll try. We'll try. 
We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. How you doing, Osida? If we don't get Holy Gustava Empire Knights, then we're definitely going to get Morelva Knights. So I could go for some Morelva Knights. I'm just saying. <laughs> I could definitely go for some Morelva Knights right now. I think next time I'm not going to go after Narzalio or right away because it just seems like map-wise, you know, it's it seems to go for Shinobi a little bit easier. But then again, uh, if I went, I went after Shinobi too, they could have... They, they could have came after that corner, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to see next time. But how's everybody doing here today? Ooh, look at that. He's leading the crew. Tim is leading the way. Maybe I should lead the way too. He came forward, but he didn't do anything? Wow. That's quite something, actually. Oh, they got a bunch of demons there. They got a bunch of demons! What are we ever going to do? What are we ever going to do? Okay, we got Emma as a dancer. We could probably get her into... I don't know what we're going to do with her, but we'll get her into something, that's for sure. Really venom that guy up right there. We've got a holy dragon here. Who... Might be able to do well here. We'll see. I put myself within a... Divine Ray Blast, aren't I? But you know what? Really can't frontline the angel right now. That's just not gonna that's not gonna be worth it. Let's get you around this way. I was thinking about going just Emma and Rudo. But there's some monsters here I'd like to try to level up if I can. I think that'd be a good idea. Try to get some levels off them. I know they're all very low level. If I could get some uh, some higher leveled dogs. I think having a decent amount of hot dogs on your team would be fantastic. I mean, it is summertime. And I'd like to have some more hot dogs on my team. Just because. Just saying. Just saying, might be nice to have some centaurs and hot dogs to run around, you know? Do stuff. This guy's level 9. Come on. Yeah, look at the map. It's like a teddy bear. It's, like, it's the teddy bear map. Okay, this looks a little bit dangerous. We got a curse here. <laughs> Get rid of this Balmont. Oh boy.
it's kind of like I have to risk it. You know? This thing's just gonna do mass damage to me. You know what we're gonna do first? How's it going, Pedro? How's it going, everybody? You're going to do a little bit of weakness, because some people were telling me, no, weakness isn't 100% chance. It's 100%. Almost every time I've seen this, this is 100%. His intelligence is 75. It's nothing really... It's, it's good, but it's not amazing. But you can get weakness on almost everybody. I don't know who told me that, but somebody told me weakness is not guaranteed, but... So far, for me, it's been <laughs> pretty good. 39%? That's the best I can do? Holy cow. Yikes. Okay, so I need to try to trap him, surround him, and all that. That's terrible odds. I need, uh... I need a pin... I have to heal with you. And then I'm, I'm in a, a bit of a bind. Yeah, Tim's going next. Uh, can I capitalize on knocking him out right now? I don't... I don't think I have that option, honestly. I really don't think there's an option to kill him at the moment. I mean, I've got a dog. I could try to clean military rule, although I'd rather do that to Tim. I'd rather clean military rule Tim, so if he gets down here, then I could hit him up. There's going to be some cursing action and some stuff. Does magic down always get a two? Uh, we have that here. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, it will. I can guarantee right now it will. Do you know why? Do you know why? I'll show you right now. Right here. There is no power score affiliated with these spells. There's no power score affiliated with cure. It's a guaranteed hit. Each and every single one of these that doesn't have a get that doesn't have a power score uh, is and will be a guaranteed hit. So there is no power score for that because it just means it's going to hit. Like cure is going to hit. It's going to cleanse. Uh, heal has a power score. So. It ha heal has a power score here because this is the potency or the power of that heal. It's going to cost this much MP for a heal, but the power level of it is 180. The same for its power for attack, you know, on attacking the enemies. Now, that has no MP cost to it, but every single thing here that has a dash means it's just guaranteed. So yes, everything that has a dash is guaranteed. At least that's what I know so far. But it seems to it seems to probably play out pretty pretty well. So yeah, like um, if we look at some other things here, blue peel, it'll it'll guarantee stick. It's um, just a basic regen. So you got that to work, you know. Um, so regen does what regen does. It, it's not affiliated with a power thing. It's just going to give you a regain. You know, each and every single time. So we clear that out. We can look at... Um, let's look at Rudo here. Credulous Reward. Inflicts poison on an ally to get attack bonus. So yeah, even this one. It's a dash. It's a guaranteed uh, thing. It'll always work. So... You know, if we're looking at stuff like that, we're, we're looking at guaranteed things. They're going to definitely work. It's quite interesting, though. You know, because some people are like, well, it's not guaranteed. Yeah, it kind of is guaranteed. 
I can uh, show you right now. Most of these things that have this little dash next to it are just... They will happen. They will happen. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Like resist? Always gonna work. Spell break? Always gonna work. Venom has a power score, so it's going to work, but it has um, a particular amount of damage it's going to do based on the power score, and it can also inflict a Venom, too. Uh, and so anything with a power score, you know, typically, it kind of has a chance to miss, but um, the, the stuff with the dash is definitely going to hit. Um, the hit column is misleading then, because guaranteed hits should have star and not upward arrow. Um, yeah, there's definitely a, a few things in here that we could, um, well, when it comes to the counter here, it shows that the counter ratio is up, so there's, so it's apparently, you have a good chance to counter ground and sky with this guy. You know, you have no chance to counter with this kind of magic. There is no counter for this magic. But ground and sky, it's just... There's... It doesn't matter. It basically just means not applicable. It doesn't matter. It's it's going to, you know, affect ground and sky. It's not important, uh, apparently, for that thing. Uh, but yeah, weakness, magic down, and cure, they will always hit, because cure always hits. You know? And I think if we look at, um, what do we do if we look at, I wish they had like a mermaid here. I want to look at some stuff. Let's look at uh, Pixie here real quick. We'll get in the battle real fast. I just want to kind of just check this here. I find this interesting. Protect says hit with up. I don't really get this. <laughs> I don't really get this here. But there's no power to it because it's guaranteed. Silence, there's no power to it because it's guaranteed. Uh, hit percentage. What do you mean the hit thing next to the power score? Oh, okay. I see now. Right, let's go back there just one second we'll get we'll get on with the battle real quick but um, yeah the hit up I mean maybe it's based on some calculation with intelligence um, but 75 intelligence isn't super amazing it's not bad but it seems to be I'm getting 100%. We'll have to look when when Ruta, uh, when Tim and other... When Tim comes down here, maybe that's a little bit different. I don't know. Maybe it could be different with Tim down here because he's got really good intelligence, but we'll check him. If it's the same exact thing with Tim here and with some other stuff, then uh, we'll, know, we'll know a little bit differently. But so far, it seems like... Kind of seems like that might be the case. Very well, the case it seems like that. I mean, with with cure, that always hits. You know, forty-seven percent. Oh, I want to go in a steep, but the steep is hard to get out of. We're gonna try this out. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go here. I think this is a really bad idea. That might be a really bad idea. Yeah, we're just gonna do the purge here. 73%, wow. Okay, good, I got him. I'd like to capture him, but I think it's going to be hard to do that.
We might be able to get him. I might have to risk my other Phoenix to do it, though. I don't know if that's really what I want to do. Nah, we'll just we'll just wait on that for now. Oh, you're not gonna come after me, okay. You're just gonna sit there. They are going to just sit around, apparently. They're like, we, we're blocking this castle really nicely. We don't need to go and fight you. Okay, you think that. I think we're going to do some resist here. We're going to do some stuff like that. See what kind of movement we got. Four. Okay, I think the dog needs to get out of the way. Back for a heal, that's what he did. Okay, I'm just not close enough to really doing anything. Um, just push up.
we're good. We're getting that taken care of. I think we're going to have to go here. They're probably going to heal it, so... I was going to try to make it even lower. Try to help out this team here. Oh boy. Yep. Yep. That kind of figures. Whoa. Oh boy. Yeah, Timmy boy doesn't want to come out and play. He wants to stay back there all day. He just wants to sit here, do his venom spells, and, and just sit on his throne and not really do much. You know, I guess that's his game. Ah, what are we going to do, I guess? I don't know. I have no idea what to do with him. I guess... Just gonna do an area heal and then push him out somewhere. We could try hitting him up. I, I might have to clean military rule this bomb out because Tim is not gonna budge. I don't think he's going to budge at all. I think we have to take care of it like that. Um, I think if that's the case, probably get away with the holy word here. That would seem fairly appropriate, I think. Probably heal him up, get him around, take out the flyer. Or the dog could do it. I guess the dog might have a better opportunity right now. Uh, we could do that. Sort of have to, don't we? Okay, we got that out of the way. Yes. Got ourselves a nice hot dog. We're going to enjoy that hot dog. Sure of it. I don't know what to do with him. I, I think he'll move over to this side. This flyer is just not going to do very well on that, that end over there. I need a healing roar right now. Get that going there. Eighty-seven <laughs> percent. This is just not. I I I don't know if I I might miss this. And if I do, it's gonna really be bad. Let's just go for this hit right here. Okay, good. Oh, I could have killed him in one shot, maybe. Oh well. Oh well. So I moved into curse range. This is not going to be very good. What to do here? down to 33% though. <laughs> and then Tim goes next. Yay! 
Okay, so Tim doesn't look like any healers on his team. to do with all these ghouls. <laughs> you tried to dimension my leader? Oh boy. could get around Makasete daikatsuyaku shite miseru kara Is some still in range here I mean, we will get the we will get the demon and a bomb mod mixed in here with the leader, so maybe this is a well a couple demons actually. This this might be a good call. Twenty six percent chance. Are you what? Wow. That's crazy. I guess we're going for him. Trying to take down a bomb on even with, even with it weakened is is quite tough, I have to say. So are we one, two? I'm just out of range, aren't I? Unless I have holy word. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. One kill. Almost another kill. Almost. Almost. Uh, we're just gonna do it anyways. We're just gonna do it anyways. I, I'm, I'm taking out one of the demons, you know, and the other one's really low. We're just doing it. We're just spamming. You know? How's it going, Jake? Yep, we are back at it again. We are back in the saddle again. That's for sure. Level two. I think we should pull him over here. I don't know if this is a good idea, but... That's almost done.
Hey, how's it going, Jake? How you doing? I just need to get him out of the way. Pretty good. Let's move. I can't. That's okay. Forty-four percent. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay. Okay, if I add up another forty percent, I'll probably get the hundred percent on that one, right? That, is that how that goes? I don't know. I wish. It would be nice. <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna go for a kill. I'm not gonna heal it. Oh wait, he does have a healer still. No! No! I healed up the big bomb out there. You're watching the other uh, MSC stuff? Yeah, he's... Rudo is... One of the worst people ever. <laughs> he's just kind of his... Um, I don't know what to say about him. I don't know if there's anything really good to say about him, honestly. I want to take down this... This bomb up, but I don't think I can. I just weakened him, but I can't get to him, and I, I have no good accuracy hits on him at all. I think I'm wasting too much time here. Okay, so weakness. So on uh, Arc Demon, it's 100% chance. Arc Demon has... So we were having some debate. Well, at least some people were having some debates about this. Uh, intelligence of 97. And Tim has an intelligence of 90. So, quite literally, this Arc Demon has more intelligence than my Nightmare. We're having a debate about uh, magic down, weakness, and weakness and magic down are 100% guarantees, it seems. And this thing's at 97 intelligence. My Nightmare has 75. And according to what it says here, weakness and magic down, they show a hit up with that. Um, and technically, I guess you're right, they should be showing stars, I suppose. But maybe they just showed hit up, but technically, because cure is also a dash here too, like this little dash right here with the power score. I look at the power score and that's how I kind of figure out a lot of stuff because the dash just says there is no power score to it, so it's pretty much kind of a guaranteed thing. Um, usually things with some power scores would uh, would would give um, like an evaluation as to whether it, the gamble spell work or not. But yeah, weakness and magic down are both guaranteed hits. So you can guarantee you weaken people. And it should work. Um... We might be able to take him out. Uh, a and C go next. So A is here. C is there. I'm just looking for any healers on those teams. I don't see anything in particular.
50% chance to hit that guy. Okay, I'm gonna definitely hit him. So yeah, those spells are guarantees. So those spells, it's like you gotta think in reverse now. Instead of protect being all that good, because usually you put protect on, you know, because protect is like a harder to get to. It's not four spaces, it's three. And it costs, and the, the hairy fairies don't start up with a lot of uh, MP to begin with. That protect is like falling away as far as like what could be considered popular. Um, and weakness and magic down might be actually better. It's like, now I'm going to be thinking, I kind of want a Nightmare, probably more than a Pegasus, just so I can get that, and it'll probably give me more benefits of just automatically putting their attack and defense down right off the bat. Uh, so it seems like we're, we're looking at a reverse kind of balance from what we were used to, you know? Um, instead of worrying about Protect, we'll worry more about having weakness from a Nightmare, just to guarantee, like, weaken this guy, you know? Um, I don't know if clean military rule is going to really do much to him. It, I guess it will. I probably could bomb him and then we'd be golden. Hopefully he won't shield it, but... I don't need to weaken him if I'm going to do that, because Divine Ray should probably take effect pretty well. And we just got to deal with Tim. So... Debuff is stronger than stats. It's, it seems that way. I mean, if it's a guaranteed hit, I'm going to lower them. I'm going to weaken them. You might want to... You might want to be thinking about putting on a protect in case you get weakened. Or putting on a resist in case you get magic down just to bring it just in case. In the past, you'd bring that kind of stuff and then throw your knights in the battle going, ha ha, I've got protect on, you can't do much to me about that. But with weakness and magic down being guaranteed hits, as you can see in my nightmare, I can cast weakness on the, the demon, 100% guarantee, and the demon has 97 intelligence versus my 75. So it seems very likely that this is just always going to be guaranteed thing and that's that so <laughs> he's down to eight <laughs> I got him down to eight okay 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 if he's down to eight we'll do a little tap damage here I think we'll just get uh wait is the phoenix uh oh the phoenix is um out 42 it's just not good enough it's just not good enough we'll go with this We'll go with this. Clean military rule. Or another attack. I don't know. We'll see what we we'll see what we do. But then again. You know what? This guy's pretty low. So maybe we need to pull him back for now. I don't know if there's anybody I want to hit at the moment. I don't want to lose him either. Maybe we'll just get the dog to come in. I could save the clean military rule for a different attack. I mean, it might work that way, you know? I think those two are different things, only HP-related spells. Damaging you have a power score. Having a dash there just means they don't change the target's HP. Accuracy should be described in the hit column, but it's not being described accurately. Oh, okay. Well, in the past, I mean, it just looks kind of like that's kind of the case, because Cure has a dash to it. And cure will just cure anything up. And uh, I guess it means if if there's something to cure, it will give you the option to. You know how I put a flight spell on a wyvern? I have to look at the flight spell for the mermaids just to see what that is because I laughed so hard when I put the flight spell on the, on the wyvern. I was like, oh, he's a high flyer now. It's Neo Bahamut. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I was like, yeah. So, that's uh, kind of interesting. I wonder if we have to do clean military. Ooh, we'll take a look and see. White Purge, is that enough? It's down to nine. It's down to nine. I could do this and then kick, punt him back, and then he's gone. 
I'm just wondering if I should save my clean military rule for something here. I got this feeling like maybe I should. I could walk up here, slash him again. This could actually, this could probably work maybe better. 100% punt him back, walk up there. Crit. Save clean military rule, get closer to Tim. Tim will really enjoy this. Wait, who's going next, though? Tim? Okay, so we got A and C to go, right? Or, uh, yeah, A and C to go. A. And C. Really depends if I can actually kill off that knight with the other team, though. Because Rudo is super powerful. It's ridiculously powerful. Then I got B. So I could do a... Oh, wait, that's right. I can't do Breath Attack. You need 75 for that, don't you? Uh, do we have enough for another Holy Word? We kind of do. Kind of do. We could just spam Holy Words. Which you can't anymore. Um, well, I either go for the Bahamut... I go for the demon or I go for the knight. 73. 73, and I could kill it, but he's already weakened. I think I'll just take out the demon here because I don't want him to have another demon on this team. I could kill the knight, but I have other options too, and I don't want... Uh, Counter curse right now. Avmo, you're late? Well, um, not too late. <laughs> not too late. Oh, I could go after that little. This thing over here. Yeah, just go slap around Harry Fairy. I'm not going to be keeping some of these things, though. He is obsessed with trying to dimension Rudo. That would have really messed everything up if he did that. Holy cow, that would have really been bad. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for being here everyone. This is really cool. If you haven't had if you haven't had the opportunity to check out this game, a great strategy game is right here. Brigandine, the Legend of Renarzia. It's too bad there isn't a power scale. It varies by intelligence how much it lowers the stats. I would prefer this to be more like how it was in Grand Edition, where it was like a percentage. Like, my intelligence versus your intelligence. Kind of like how Dimension is, anyways. It should technically still be considered a gamble spell like Dimension, but now that it's a guaranteed spell, I think they're going in the opposite. They're trying to make things a little more offensive. With even the attacking things, it seems like you want to be a little more offensive with your playstyle. Cause it's like you kind of want to go out and attack so that your power score is higher and you got a better chance of, of surviving and all that. It seems like they're trying to make it more offensive. So like the weakness spells, the magic down spell is actually better now this time around than Protect was in the past. Protect was really good in the past. Um, Rudo being able to walk around and just <laughs> clean military rule without a pre-move hit people. I mean, that's very offensive. Um, as far as attacking is concerned. Um, he has less spell break than cure. Most statuses move have chance other than mermaids. I think in debuff spells seem to be guaranteed hits. Their hit column doesn't show a star. Yes. Yes, that's kind of accurate. It does show up. So, I don't know. If there is some intelligence thing based upon it, then... I guess if you have an intelligence of 50, it might be affected, but so far, like, everything I've been checking seems to give me, like, 100%. We'll have to check more characters here in a half a second, though. Um, I'm quite amazed you moved him right in there. I am very amazed you did that. So Team B is going to go next, right? So i got to be a little more concerned about... 
But if I kill off the Balmont, I can get in there. Okay, what do we have with her? We have to... So, she... We're gonna try to get her that uh, dual move ability. So we've got ourselves a proficiency of one. Let's try to get a proficiency of like a million. Or something. Yeah, see like here it shows a power score of null. Her spell break hits up, but it seems to just kind of guarantee do it. I can take off the weakness that I gave him. Immediately, I can give it to him. I can take it off of him. Not too bad. Schmelt. Yes! Yes! I think a holy word will do it now. I think it'll do it now. Oh my gosh. We're getting multiple kills with this holy word. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's watch this beautiful spell in play here. You kinda did, man. You kinda did. Yeah, it's kinda true. 1500 experience. This is our Man America one too, so we gotta we gotta grow this one. We gotta get this one all the way to a cherubin. Or something like that. I don't know if that's in the game, but if it's not in the game, we're gonna make it in the game and we're gonna put it there and it'll be great. Right? I think so. I think so. I really... He's got like one heal left. Tim is likely gonna go, because I still have the military rule. We're getting pretty... I mean, that was pretty nice. I won't... I won't lie, that was pretty nice. So, we're gonna get ourselves a sweet Seraph there. Uh, you know what? I think, dude, you're just gonna do... We're, we're just gonna do some healing here, because... I can't really, I can't really hit anybody. What if I should just do an air? Do I? Can I do? Should I do an air heal? Do I have air heal? No, I don't. So, okay, we'll heal him up here. Nice. Oh. Oh. Ouch. If only. Only I could get in there. I can't. Good shot, man! Balmont's second favorite? Balmont's a favorite of a lot of people. Uh, they don't really... I mean... The Holy Dragon, like the Fafnir, was, was kind of my favorite. Uh, from the previous game. I don't know, this, this is probably not a smart idea, though. Not gonna... No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, well, okay, maybe we can. Holy Dragon's nice, but I think the Fafnir was my favorite. 
That or maybe a salamander, but I think Fafnir I like the best. Just the versatility of the holy mix of the red. It's kind of like how they have it here, too. I mean, the holy dragon does meet those requirements, too. But it doesn't look like the Fafnir. The Fafnir looks really cool. Big gold dragon on your team. I think the I think the Fafnir was pretty cool. I'd say the Balmot's really versatile here, although the Balmot doesn't really seem like it's as strong. You know? So, I don't know. What's your favorite, though? What do you think about that? What would that... What does that mean to you? <laughs> what does that mean to you? Okay, I can move there. Well, I could poke him around. Okay, so weakness, just check it out, 100% on Tim, 100% on that. Weakness is just 100%. It just is. If Tim wants to stick this out, I'm going to weaken him right now. Because he might he might be a jerk and just try to stick this out. I'm going to weaken him right now. We're going to walk up. We're going to clean military rule him in the face. And he is not going to have a good day. Fifty-three percent. Mm. Nope. We we'll just sit there. Lizard Lord is for you. Yeah. Movement range in Fafner is nice too. Yeah, I think I think the Fafner was my favorite. Ha absolutely. Hundred percent. Okay. I guess we're just gonna move up here. Take a pot shot. I'm not worried if this guy gets killed off. It's 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 just a super low level. He was just kind of extra. <laughs> he was my extra in here. Um I wanna get a Fenrir more so than anything. Yes! Gotta hit! Untainted path. Accuracy 100%. 380 to zip. 380 to zip. Oh my god. Alright, go hit this guy. Please don't die in the process. Fenrir and Errol are... Yeah. You, I don't know if you saw the video. If you haven't seen the, the YouTube video of me beating the uh, the Rune God in four turns, definitely go check that out. Give it some likes. It's really cool. I like it. I've got another video coming up of Aurora tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll have that up. I was going to have it up today, but got kind of... Uh, I couldn't get it out today, but um, you caught it in Twitch. I know you caught it in Twitch, but I put it on YouTube too. Um, I'm just really excited to kind of happy about that. Breaking some records because four turns on hard mode. I think that's the first anybody's ever, ever, ever done that. Put it up on YouTube. So I've got um, um, going to be uh, getting Aurora up tomorrow. So if you want to go check that out, that'd be cool. Alright, so Rudo. Let's check this out. White Purge. What's a basic attack? So that's not bad. But untainted bad is 100%. Why is it that I have better accuracy than he does? Do I have better agility? Is it because of regen? I. Agility's 92. I thought, his, I thought Tim's agility was better. It's not! 
It's not. Oh, and plus he's weakened too. Right? Probably, probably do some stuff. Okay, untainted path. Goodbye, Tim. Well, actually, he did this. He did a number three cut. Kind of a diagonal three cut. We're gonna need another Timmy! <laughs> I need to get that as a... I need to get that as an soundbite thing. I'm gonna get those other two soundbites up tomorrow, too. I've got some time, too. So, um... No one can defeat me. My victory is amazing. Yeah. Well, Rudo. Yep, we're... Holy Ghost of Vampire is gonna need another Timmy. That's for sure. We need a Timmy command. Okay, well... I'll... I'll get that out too. I'm gonna get the cake and the Grados one out tomorrow. I know how to I know how to do that now. I was trying to figure out how to do that, but I know how to do it, so I'll get that out. I'll get those out tomorrow. And the Timmy one's actually probably easy to get too, I think. So yeah, I'll have the uh the video for uh Aurora tomorrow. So I'll get that one up tomorrow. So definitely check out for that one too. Rob is moving in. They didn't come to stop me. This is nice. It it would probably be it probably makes sense they might go after that direction over there. They might go north, east, you know? You're gonna bet it was more than four turns? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see tomorrow, though. It's interesting because... I follow your banner! Oh, hey, thank you for the follow. Vetagor. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Mermaid Guinea. Well, Mermaid Guinea, we're going to take care of business today. You think four turns would be quick? Okay, well, don't post don't post any spoilers. I'll, I'll I'll get a video out tomorrow of the Aurora fight, and we'll see we'll see how well I can do. We'll see if I can do it in four turns, because I did I did the other fight in four turns, and that's that's kind of a world. I think that is a world first for four turns on hard mode. I did see um, another one with four turns, but the guy was playing on easy. And I think a lot of people have been playing this on easy, but I've been playing on hard, and all the future LPs that I'm doing and just singular LPs will be set on hard, even with challenge modes. So, still waiting for your uh, copy of the game? That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I still, I actually have, I, I, ordered one of those uh, special editions and I'm waiting for that to come out too but I couldn't couldn't fully wait so I also have the digital you know version here too so I'm waiting for the full thing to come out once it comes out I, I might even do an unboxing I, I don't do unboxings of things typically because it's just like I get the product and I'm like yes I can use it now you know I don't <laughs> I don't even think about it I just rip it open and I have it but uh, for the, for Brigandine, I actually might because this has been my like favorite game for a very 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 long time, and now there's a sequel, so I might actually do an unboxing for that. 
Just saying. <laughs> but how you doing today? Better go. We have an interesting team here. Now, I think I finally have him as Ranger so I can actually do a couple extra things with him. So you can probably drag a, a knight over here and try to trap them. This might work out pretty good for this team, but I just want to get Alan kind of a hit in the way kind of thing. And uh, that or keep him as a ranger, maybe. We could just stay as a ranger. He'll be like a treasure hunter or something, you know? Very tempting. I'm starting a GE run to contain myself. Yeah, I was just doing a, a Grand Edition one with uh, Raging Paul the other day. We usually do multiplayers on Saturdays. Or so we do multiplayers or co-ops or something on Saturday. So Saturday is our Norzalio co-op this game. And so we have that going here. Which is quite fun. Uh, pretty fun. I have to say, I like how they made these little bridges. It looks like a little rickety bridge. You ever noticed it? Just like a bunch of logs just sitting around. Just... Looks like something that... <laughs> just, it's it's one of those old medieval bridges where you got the two planks in the middle or on the sides and then just stack some logs there they have some castles with some really interesting bridges I think the capital has a really cool looking bridge a couple double bridges on uh, Stella's capital which is quite cool looking but um they, they made this game look really nice. I have to say, one thing I like the most about this is that they, they kind of twisted it so the dragons aren't... You can get an ancient dragon super powerful, no no doubt. But, like, tier 2 dragons versus tier 2 giant snakes here? Giant snakes just seem to be way better at the tier 2 stuff. Just because they get more movement. Uh, they heal on the water this time, like LOF from the past and I mean that's a heck of a boon plus most places have a little moat or a little stream or some kind of water in it that I can actually utilize that so it's it's quite fantastic they actually did some stuff and it kind of reversed the thinking here I I kept wondering about a few things like like oh protect you know you got to have a protect on your team and now I'm realizing maybe I really don't need a protect on my team maybe I just need to bring nightmares to do weakness because weakness is guaranteed and protect is three spaces instead of four. So so it's a little bit harder to protect. Maybe I'll bring one pixie, but I'm not gonna go crazy unless I need a react spell or something. But it's almost like nightmares are just a bit more valuable. Plus nightmare has heals and cleanses too. So the nightmare is it sort of outclasses the pegasus, although on the other hand, the pegasus is one of the only creatures that actually has a halo. Hardly anything else has a halo here, I think. Maybe the female class has Halo. As I, I keep forgetting who has Halo. Well, she, they have Halos, but it's it's hard to find some of these spells. So like, some of the knights are like all over the place as far as like what they have. So you need, you gotta gotta play it more often to kind of start to figure things out, you know. And uh, it's quite interesting to see who's got what. So it kind of makes every knight and monster a little more specialized, you know. Yeah, it's pretty good with that. The, the Hydra gets amazingly good movement now. I'm really happy for that. Pretty quite, pretty happy about that, I have to say. So I think, and especially if you go with a Power Ranger team, which Pedro and a lot of other people witnessed me do that with a Power Ranger team, you can do amazing stuff by lassoing people and just dragging them close to you. You can do so much good stuff with that. It's, it's quite funny, actually. It's quite good. <laughs> it's quite good. So let's go. I think I'll just go here. Oh yeah. Do you think they will release an expansion GE for this with multi? I don't know. I I don't know. I know that they were like all about you know possibly doing a grand edition, and I guess they could do that. I'm. I'm on the fence about that, really, with a multiplayer. The way that they have this set up for multiplayer, I'm on the fence. I don't know if that's a, if it's going to work out to the greatest effect. Just because of how they have the attack set, the strongest team wins, that could get abused. 
and a team that's starting off small like Shinobi or Merzalio or Morelva might get outmatched immediately and they might not have a chance. So I I don't know if they would do it like that. But Hi. I've I've been playing multiplayer for many, many years on my channel, I've been videoing it and playing as it. I, I kinda have a good feeling as to how it would work out well. You know? But I'd have to uh you know, I'd have to have a talk with them, I guess. I gotta get somebody out here and nobody's nobody's ready to Nobody's ready to play ball with me yet. Should I pull the snake in here? The snake a little bit closer? Do we have... Okay, so she's still a healer, right? She does have Divine Rape. Challenge mode seems pretty interesting. You know, I have been playing some challenge mode, so I, I did get through a bit of that. I'll have to, like, start a new challenge mode, though. And just kind of go through it. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> what what? I'd love to be in a six-way draft of rude knights. Hmm. Ooh, Pluto's just gonna sit on defense here. Looks like that he's positioned himself for breath attacks. Yeah. I really don't know where to put Kyle, honestly, right now. This probably makes sense. I probably should move forward a little bit. Gonna take some damage, though. I'll probably drag somebody out into the open. Well, the option to kick something away and then bring it forward, maybe. Hmm. Hey, good morning, Trouble. How's it going? Everyone gets to pick the ten champions in a snake draft. Hmm. Yeah, how's it going, Trouble? Yeah, I could just get a breath attack right now. Oh, they might heal it up. Okay, I think I'll just move forward. We'll get a reposition here. Kouki will need us. Totsugeki suru zo. Where to put him? Last day of the week. So the last day of the week should be very weak, right? Get it? <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Should I, or should I not? Let's just move over here. I don't really know what to do with him on a, at this moment. I have no clue. I 
I guess we're protecting him. He's not going to go down. Very nice. Ouchie. Okay, so A and B go next. I don't know if this is even safe to do. I don't want to push him into the water either. Okay, we'll just... Alright, we'll do weakness on this guy. I mean, I could do weakness on him too, I suppose. But this thing might breath attack, and... If he tries to line up for breath attacks, that's not very good for me. Don't really need to heal at this point in time. We have plenty of other healers, healers for that. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't know if they were going to do that, but they did that. Now I know that they will do that. They will go for a charm. Holy cow. They actually will do that. Can you believe they actually charmed my knight? I didn't think they'd do that. Usually they do just do a bunch of cross spells. Now what sucks with charm is you won't counter attack. So you see all the free damage they're getting. They're getting all this free damage now. Wow. That is quite unbelievable. Well, that's coming off. <laughs> that's not staying on me. <laughs> I think it still has another one, doesn't it? Yep, that's a hundred. And I can't stop that. Got their leaders next to me, though. Ooh, what do we have here? I wonder what we have here. Right here, right? Yeah, it's right here. I wonder what we're gonna do with that. Makes me makes me curious. We're just going to do a basic heal here. We got it. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad. But the thing is, charm uh, characters and knights, they don't go first. It's just kind of random. Um, it could send Rudo going first, maybe. But I've noticed when I charm their characters, if I charm their leader, if I charm their monster, they just kind of randomly pick whoever else to go first. Usually it's a unicorn goes and cleanses up immediately on the same team. 
So I might get the same kind of privilege, although maybe I might not. So I don't know. <laughs> but that's absolutely interesting, you know, if they charmed Ruto, which they can, guaranteed. You know, if they're on the water, they can do it again. <laughs> you can definitely do it again. All right, I'm going to go get a drink here. I'm going to get a drink, though. I've got a bunch, but I need to get a drink. Yeah, I guess that would kind of make him immune to it. I keep forgetting about that whole... that whole thing. That he's immune. I guess because it's like... Tim isn't immune. You know, he doesn't have a Brigandine. I have to play as Huli Gustava. I wonder if he's just gonna get like a full-on piece of armor... for the Brigandine, or if it's just still gonna be like a ring now. You know, of that effect. I, I really kind of wonder that. Um, oh, Okay, bro. Draw trick. Get over here! This guy's toast. <laughs> this guy's toast. Is our protect still in effect? Okay, protect still in effect. That's good. We have to do a weakness. Because weakness is guaranteed in this game. At least it seems so far. It's absolutely guaranteed. So we're going to weaken him and we're going to clean military rule or whatever is close enough to that effect. <laughs> we're going to do that to him. I have a few things to hit. Protect up. Oh, and you know what? Um, uh, Vertigore. You cannot overprotect protect. So you cannot put a protect on someone that has protect. It'll miss and you'll waste your MP. You know how... I don't know if you did this in the past, but I would literally wait for like two turns, pop another protect on someone that was going to lose it, it would stack, the old protect would fall off, the next protect would count for two more turns. This one you cannot stack protects to keep chaining effect and, and give them to it. If they have to protect and you put it on with another protect, you waste that you waste your magic. So that's another that's another important thing to learn about this game is that um, it's not exactly like the old one. You kinda have to check your uh, you know, check what's going on. Um so that's just an important thing. A little little bit of tidbit of information I, I thought would be helpful, but 
So we've got ourselves this, that, and the other thing here. I could go in and do damage, but I think start off with the dog. You wish there was the uh, the close-up animation just on crit spells? The slow-up animation even on crit spells? Well, it does kind of like bring the, the screen in, you know, to do that when you're doing crit. Um, but yeah, I get what you mean. Let's go. Uh. Go there. Okay, we're gonna bring him in for some. You know, I don't even have to. We we don't have to bring him in. Let's just let's just take him out. I'm, I'm sure we got it. Holy break! <laughs> you mean I can only get him down to one hit point with holy break? Okay, okay. We'll do judgment then. We'll do judgment. I judge you, Giddy. Makes sense though. On the demo, I tried weakness a couple of times and they all missed. Really? Did they did they change the parameters when they brought out this game? Are you sure? Are you talking about dimension? Because dimension has a percentage to it. But here they're all they're all tacked on. I'm, every one of them is working. So I don't know. We're just going to take out this guy because he's just... Well, I just tried weakness on a, on a, an Arc Demon that had 97 intelligence versus my Nightmare having 75, and it was guaranteed to hit. So, unless you had a really weird, bad thing that was like bad Nightmare that didn't have intelligence and... You tried it somehow, or, or they changed the parameters of the game to make it a guaranteed thing. I don't know. They could have changed the parameters of the game. They could have made an update and been like, oh, okay, we're going to make this 100% guaranteed now. I can't say, but... Because I don't remember every little thing about the demo. I don't know if I re-download the demo and try it out with the demo. Or if that's even worth it. I don't know. Do you really want to leave yourself exposed like that? Take down Pluto too. Another little bishop's gonna have to run. Should we just poke him and just finish it off? I don't know if that'll work. Then again, I don't really have a lot of other, uh, other options right now. Although I could probably get uh, a leader kill for this, maybe. Hey. 
行くぜぶちかますぜお任せを。この一撃を食らえ Get over here. Oh crap, I can't move out of the way. Wait a second, why can't I? Oh. Oh. Well, that's special. Okay, I guess. I guess I,、uh, I pushed my luck with that one. I might have pushed my luck a little bit there. Seventy-three. I don't know if I like those odds. We got him going next, which is pretty good. Hundred percent on Pluto. Bye. Sorry, Pluto. Yeah, I know you weren't. I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, the little hairy fairies really don't have a lot of、uh, a lot of MP to do double protects anymore. Right off the bat, they just don't have that ability to do it that easily. It's almost like protects are a little bit harder to gain, a little bit harder to get.、Um, まずは相手の出方を探るぞ。It's almost like weakness is just a better way to go. Instead of protecting your guys, just weaken the enemy.、It、seems to be a little better that way. Not really the kind of preference I was thinking about, but it seems like that might be the way. Very good, very good.
divine ray. Hey man, how do you feel about staling? You, you want to stay? Thanks for playing, Lorenzo. We got the winner. Our sanctity and our strength have given us victory. So we got some good monsters here. Ooh, she's proficient. That's fantastic. Turn into a mage. I don't know. I wonder if we should just keep him as a ranger. I'm wondering if we should make a full-on treasure hunter here. Should we do such such thing? Should we do said thing? I don't know. Fight Umaro here. Down to the last man. Umaro as the last fight. Oh, 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 did you get in? Usually there's mods there that are doing stuff, but uh. Okay. If that's you, which I think it is you, yeah, it should be you. All right, you are there. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go in the engine site and uh, go ahead and talk about stuff, that's cool. Yeah, definitely go on the engine site. Create some forms, create some threads. I wish we could get Umara on our team. <laughs> A typical mana levels identified emergency must report to Pluto. I, I almost want to level up Selena. Especially just because there's something about her. She might be extra powerful. Maybe more than 
than they're even talking about because I keep saying Selena's got these skills. We're gonna have a hell of a fight. But do this guy and Umamaro are quite a powerful team. Four is pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. How much range do I have here? I got one, two. Yep, that's that'll work. Okay, we're gonna try to get the dragon in the front line, though. If we can, I think we should be able to, you know. And the wolf guy. I, I want to play as Toby. I really want to play as the guy. I, he he might not be as good as some characters, but that agility he's got in the forest, oh, it's amazing. Oh yeah, and she's she's got thunderbolt attacks. <laughs> Apparently, even the Ruined God is afraid of Stella. I mean, it's quite possible, I guess. Seems pretty feasible, you know? Considering all things. I'm gonna try to get her into the forest when we get a shot, you know? Oh, you know, because we will be moving forward again. We'll just get up to here. Hey, John is dude. How's it going? Conquest, so far, so good. Got a lot of good things here. Everything seems like it's uh, fairly well ship shape, although I don't know if that's the right terminology now because we're playing as Mana Celestia Theocracy. Theocracy or Theocracy? It's one of the two, right? Theocracy? Theocracy? Thick, thick, uh, thick Ocracy? Something like that. Oh. Ubu <laughs> Mara as the robot is freaking amazing. He is super cool. So much fun to play as. I had such a good time doing that. Such a good time. And look what they did. They went to trap my dragon immediately. Didn't even wait. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's lining up for a shot. He's lining up for a shot. I know what he's gonna do. I know exactly what he's gonna do. Not great mana growth? Well, they keep talking about her like she's some kind of special miracle. I, I kind of want to level her up and see. See for myself. See if there's there's something there. I mean, there could be something there, but you know, I don't know if Umar was gonna shoot through his own guy to hit me. He could try. He would do serious damage though if he tried it. You know, Rudampar is more like hypocrisy. <laughs> I guess. I guess maybe. Team C is way over here. He's never gonna get here. That's team. It's team A. He's likely gonna come out to the front. I need to just back up. I think I just need to back up a second. And probably put a protect spell on her, although it really depends on how much MP we Oh man, I almost just gotta move her out of the way. It's not very good there. What are we going to do with this? Okay, I guess we're just going to just play it like this here. Scenario character are not meant strong. Oh, about Gilliam? 
Yeah, well, Gilliam's kind of a blowhard. He's he's not he's not he he he's not really that good. He brags about being good. She's described as being good, but not bragged about. And then that little cutscene we got with uh, the ruined god, you know, giving her extra power by standing next to the uh, the miracle spring. It's like kind of likes her. What else is gonna happen here? You don't really know. Little taily whip here. They should have made Selena a unique. I would think Selena matches her 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 persona, her character matches Leoness. It matches Leoness. Because she's like thought to be the next one up. You know, and Rudo is worried about it. It seems like Rudo kind of wants to, you know, pick sides with uh, Emma here to make sure nothing happens. So I just kind of wonder, you know? I think we should get rid of this dragon right here. I think we'll just take care of her. We'll just take care of business right now. I really got a frostbow on. She kind of needs a little more. It it would be nice if they did that, you know. I wonder if I should have this one do the divine ray or this one do the divine ray. I think this one should do the Divine Ray. This one should do... I mean, we could do another Divine Ray. Or a Holy Word right now. Oh, I think Holy Word... We're, we gotta probably wait for the Holy Word, I think. So we, we got Umamaro in here. But I'd rather Divine Ray him once he gets in here. And then again, maybe we shouldn't kill off the snake. So Umamaro will actually come out to the front lines. And then we can bombard him with other stuff. Otherwise, we're not gonna really do a whole lot. You know what, if that's the case, let's just do a basic heal here. Save the MP. Keep our front line stable. You know, not go too crazy. At least not at the moment. Um, you're just gonna wait on the back flank there, man. Just gonna wait on the back 40. Uh... Really worried about her just standing there, though. She does have... Thunder spells, so we could just reposition right now. Thinking that might be a good cause. Um, Still seems pretty good, awesome MP pool, but if she's supposed to be a threat to Rudo, I think she needed more. Yeah, I don't know. Makes it kind of interesting, right? Should I take the breath attack or should I move away from the breath attack? Okay, we're gonna make that guy ridiculously low. Have to protect our dragon, though. Uh... Selena could have been a new Kai. 
That's an interesting version right there. What if that's the case? What if that was the case? What if Selena was kind of like the new Kai there? How many spells do we have here? So Frost, we got 68, so if we got 70, 70, 140. So we'd have three Frost spells. Three Frost spells. I say we weaken up the front line. I could kill him. They don't have healers, I could kill him. Then Umamaro's gonna sit there and do a blast and he might even kill off my angel in one try. So I don't so this is a reason I don't want to kill him right now. Otherwise I probably would. I think we'll weaken up the uh, the ones that are probably gonna cause the most damage to me. So they're gonna think twice about attacking with these things. I mean they might think twice. But then again I could probably just kill this thing off because I don't think he's really any bit of big of a, a threat level to me. I think we'll start with this shot. Zone shot. Oh, that's a that's an insta-kill right there. Boom, you're down. Good stuff. Okay, we're gonna keep the uh, our corner flank pretty strong still. I don't want him taking any more damage. Sir? Galvard might be the last one to take out. Oh. I don't know. Well, thanks for presenting yourself <laughs> right there. Oh boy. Splash. Okay. Oh boy. I missed. Oh no. Okay, Selena. Oh man, I'm too far to hit Umamaro. I'm too far away to hit Umamaro. And I've got this thing here too. Oh boy. What do you think about the removing the Necromancer class from the classes? More holds will be bad. <laughs> I think some people will be upset about that. I I kind of like that option with the game, you know? And it's just not really even there anymore. It's it's seriously just not there. I'm a bit perplexed as to why too. I don't know why that was a the thing. There's there's some nights that still there's one night that has it that I know of. It's, um and other than that, I don't know who else can really get it besides, uh, like, a Lich. I wish I had a heal here. I, I don't. I can't heal him. I mean, I could heal him, but I'd rather just take this team apart. <laughs> The other thing is a charm. Charm is not as good as as I, I keep wanting to say it. It's it's not as good as it used to be. Charm is really not that good anymore. Most of the teams run with, with a unicorn to cleanse it. Charm doesn't 
uh, take effect immediately, it takes effect later, and there's so much cleansing that the enemy does, it doesn't really seem to matter. No. I'm just pulling him out. I'm just gonna pull him out. We're gonna go back here. You, my friend, are gonna go up here. Charm costs so much. It's 110 for that, and they cleanse it up with 50 points of MP. So the amount that I spend versus them, you really don't make any kind of a gain off of it unless they can actually hit their own guys. And sometimes I've charmed some monsters that just sat there and did nothing. They didn't attack their own guys. You know, and you're like, well, it's a unicorn, sure, but I'm used to, like, if I charm something, they'll do something for my team that just sat. I could have healed up my leader and it didn't do anything. So sometimes charm just literally falls short of being even remotely good. So I'm just gonna... I'm only gonna do it if I have nothing better to do, really. If they have no... Because, look at this. One, two, three, four. They can ch they can cleanse most of the front line here. They, they usually do this. They have one of those guys there waiting, ready to go. He still has all his MP ready to go. Charm just doesn't seem like it's a really viable spell anymore. Like, it kind of... Um, it kind of was in the past. It really kind of was. Now it's just like... If you get it, if you can do it, that's great, but if you can't, well, it sucks. You know? No. And every time we've been playing John, like, John, Pedro, everybody that's been here to watch us, every single time we've been playing, they always have a unicorn ready to cleanse up almost everything on their team. 90% of their team they can cleanse. And most teams run with, like, a unicorn or two, and I'm just... We're just sitting around like, well, can I charm? So when I was playing as Morelva, the only hard thing about Morelva was like, I could barely charm anything because it can fall off the next turn. It can last for a turn or fall off the very next turn. So I charm somebody, they're charmed right now, but as soon as the next turn rolls over, charm can fall off or it might just sit and not do anything. It might not heal me up at all. It might just move over here. It could heal me up. They might attack their guys. But the charm doesn't go immediately, it goes later on. So it so if they want to have their unicorn cleanse up the charm before that charm monster can attack their guys, they will do that. And it's just it's quite amazing how they they've kind of relegated charm. It's not charm isn't nerfed, but in a strategic or tactical factor, it kind of is. It, it sort of is. Um, at least from my experience. It doesn't seem like it's uh, really all that amazing at this moment. I'm just, no, I'm not going to attack with him because we're probably going to take a, a cannon blast to the face and I, I don't really want to, but <laughs> Umaro's going to shoot. Umaro's going to shoot at us. Something fierce. And I'm a bit worried about that. have her shoot twice. That's green though. That's green though, but you know what? That might be a good idea. Maybe I'll have her shoot twice. Then it's free. It's not using extra MP. We still need the other MP for other stuff here. We'll go for a kill here. Seems like that's possibly the case, you know. Could it could possibly be that way? Could possibly that be that way, Pedro.
Although a, a thunder spell might be maybe better. Oh no, I have a frost spell right here. That's right, I got a frost spell right there. Uh, let's see what Umamaro's intelligence is at. Uh, magic barrier C. Yeah, he's going to have some decent... Uh, intelligence is 88 too, so I don't know how well that's going to work out. At level 12, level 15, I think she should take two shots. Kind of like continue this. She should probably take two shots and we'll kind of get the ball rolling here. And again, I no, I can't have him do thunder. All right, we'll have him do react. You know what? You know what messed me up too, Betagor uh, too, is that I kept thinking that I kept thinking that react was 126. Now it's 136. So the MP cost is a little is 10 points higher. And one of these battles I was playing, I was like, ooh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got just enough, and I was like, no. It's 136 for a react, it's not it's not 126. So so some of the numbers have changed a little bit. Not all of the numbers, but some of them have. You think it's too high? I kind of agree with that too. I think it's a little too high. I think they could have just left it the way it was, because um, it's like now with Protectus, uh, Protectus takes more to do, or not Protect, um, React takes 10 more points to do, Protect is a space shorter, so it's like the Pixies have been like, the Hairy Fairies are, are severely nerfed from the past. So it's like now with Weakness being a guarantee, it's almost like just go with weakness and just don't worry about the hairy fairies. Like, if you want to bring one, bring one. But you got to get it, like, equipment and potions and, you know, get it up to a pretty high level for it to actually do well. Because look at that. I did one I did one react spell. I have nothing left for protect. I have no MP left for a protect. Just level 10. Now, if it's a man of miracle monster, this little gremlin here, that might be a different story. But I have nothing left for protect. I just get one spell, one or two spells maybe, and then I'm basically done. So, yeah, that's that's about it. <laughs> oh yeah, I got breath attack here too. I might save it for Umamaro though. Then again, nah, it'll this, it'll this will work out too. <laughs> Give us back our pixies. <laughs> Zone shot. Okay, I'm gonna go for. Uh, you no, know, see, this is 80 MP to do, and if I try to do this twice, I can only do it once. So I can only do that one time. Alright, I got three frost spells though. Do this. No. Start getting this cat in the bag. Goodbye, adieu. I bid you adieu. I bid you adieu. Adieu. Adios, amigo. Adios. Uh. This sucks. <laughs> He'll probably die. But you kind of need to stay here, bro. Don't die on me, bro. Don't, don't die on me. I need a Giga Shot Umaro, though. Because he's going to... Because we have to talk, take him out, and there's no other way to do this. Huh? 101 damage. That's one, 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 all one. we can do to little Umi. Oh, no. 
no. <laughs> if Disney has Pluto and Goofy, we can have Pixies and Barretts. Yep. Wait a second. I get to go again? No way. Yes way. Yes so. Wait, so we got him here. Now he's black in the whole way. Now we gotta take him out. Frosty McFrost shot. Can we do that? Hopefully. Beep. No MP left. Guess what we're gonna do? You're gonna protect <laughs> our back row. <laughs> You're just gonna do it. <laughs> I can't do anything else. It was merely an armor scratch. Yeah, it I, it seems to be that way, doesn't it? Hold. Hold. Fire! There we go. Makasero. Just be doing zone shot the whole time here. I don't think I can kill Umi right at the moment. Let's try to go for Galavard, maybe? I think we have a decent chance to get him out of the way. Nice. Oh boy. Go, go up there. Go, go fight my pixie up there. Oh, thanks. Thanks, bro. Thanks. You saved me a lot of trouble. <laughs> go over fight. Go fight the fair, the hairy fairy up there. He's just, he's just begging to get a, a battle. He's gonna stick tap you all day. It's gonna, we're gonna get stick tap happy here. It's gonna be amazing. Someone's got to take care of him. What if I should do an area heal right now? A basic heal. He's level 10, and I, I think that's the only thing I could save him. Then again, we could just finish him off. And no biggie. They go bye bye. A and B, then C goes. What does C have that's so special? We've got... You have your unicorn this far away from your healer? You can't even heal him up. Okay, so he can't get healed up. So we don't have to worry about him getting a heal. He'll stay in the front lines. He'll try to do some damage. He could do some decent damage, but he's really not going to be much of a threat at this point. Um, we could work on Umamaro. Yarimashou. <laughs> Beep. I'm sorry, little Umi. I feel so bad about what I have to do next.
<laughs> I will use all these hairy fairies to attack that griffin right there. Just because we can. I think the angel will be okay right now. We're gonna go more offensive here. Does he have a loop heal on? I don't think he does. I think he just has a protect on right now. We're getting pretty low for hit points and all that. Well, good try, bro. But you biffed. Okay, we've got her at level 17. Makasero. Zone shot. Should we take this nice and slow? Or... Fast and loose. <laughs> Sorry, little Umi. I feel really bad about this. I hope he comes to my team. That would be amazing if we get Umamaro on our team, but... Oh, now you bring out the unicorn. Well... <laughs> yeah, it's a little too late. <laughs> right now at the moment. It's a little too late. Look at this little gremlin here. He survived all of that. You can survive that. You can survive anything, maybe. Alright, we're gonna try to level her up. I want to see how good she can get. Do we have Genos, though? Oh, we do have a Geno Frost. Perfect. 
行きます<笑>まだの力に満ちていますまずは皆の怪我の手当てを First, we must take care of the wood. Yes! Victory! In the name of sanctity. For sanctity. Sacred. You win. Well, we took out Morelva. We took out Morelva today. It's that time. We might get a new knight now, but I think we might have one more battle to do here. Possibly. We'll see. We might even lose a castle too, but that's okay because I kind of had to take out Morelva this way. This is the only good way to do it. And then I can move this team up there. I can move that team over there. I'm sorry, UIOM, but got the Ego Mana Stone. After the fall. Renarzia. Year 781, Season 5. The United Islands of Morelva is erased from the history of Renarzia. Forces led by Stella boarded seven ships and bid farewell to the continent they had once called home. So it's like a Scalio that Scalio says they're going to leave, find a new continent, a new new place to conquer or something. Though they had left for new lands, it is said that every now and then they could be seen making port at various towns and cities along Renarzia's coast. People say they drank every tavern dry whenever they made port, leaving towns in shambles when they departed. Still, it would seem this didn't prevent the people of those towns from welcoming, welcoming pirates whenever they came. This was because they would leave enormous amounts of fish behind when they left. Stella and Pluto also spent time in each port they visited teaching the fishermen to read the tides and the weather by looking at the stars. They remain one of the major reasons the continent understands how to coexist with nature to this very day. Okay. We got to attack uh, Shumli here. Okay, we got uh, our blowhard cardinal with a couple of monks against uh, a rose knight and some good stuff. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> it's gonna be a tough fight. So, yep, yep, it's gonna be a tough fight. Gilliam is really just full of hot air. That's kind of what I mean when I'm saying that, because he's he's really not that good. He's really not. この <laughs> Come, come out and play. Okay, so before... Um, actually, I'm just going to move up here. Just to get in position. And once the battle starts, I'm going to close this out for YouTube and then Twitch. You get like a minute break and I'll come right back. So if you're like... Did he go down for good? Nope. I'll be going down for like a minute or two. And I'll come right back. But I'm going to make shorter episodes for YouTube. So it's going to be like two hour episodes. We're already uh, two, 20 minutes in. 
you know, 20 minutes in, so we're a little bit more. But once once they actually move something up here, then I'll I'll start the stream up for YouTube then. And what sucks is like I'm all in this dug in all this forest here. It's gonna be hard to get there. Sote, doko e maerimashou ka? Multiple times to get Isfis from Leonia. I think the fact is he doesn't go to the country that beats him. There's some knights that don't go to the one that beats him, like Bagdamagus will not go to you if you beat Escalio. And there's some knights that just have this hatred for the country that beat them. They won't go to you. Uh, in uh, another state of affairs, like if you beat a country that had like a bag to Magus on his team. I try to remember if you can get him later. So some of it's a bit hard coded with that. Like, um, typically you beat Leonia, you get Langeborg. You know? So if you don't beat Leonia, you might get Charlene and you might get Isfis. You might get Charlene or Isfis. So beating Leonia really doesn't give you a good, <laughs> any good knights. It's almost like you want somebody else to do the work for you, you know? But yeah, it's, some of it's definitely, you know, the way it is. Yeah, that's basically what I'm talking about. The same thing Pedro's saying right there. Is, uh, some knights are just not gonna go to you because they're kind of, they're kind of upset that you beat their uh, country. And they hold a grudge. Okay, let's put Key Largo closer to the front line here. You can do that. You can definitely do that. I've done that plenty of times. There's there's some knights I want from from other countries that I it's hard to get, and I just purposely like do it that way, just so I'll get some of those knights because I think you get Charlene or you get Isfis from Leonia when they fall. Or you have a chance to get them, but if there's not many countries left and another country beats them, you're likely going to get, I think, one of the two. But I'm pretty sure Langeborg will go to your team if you beat, you know, if you beat it with Langeborg, which he's really not that good. The old, the best I could ever do with him is turn him into a ninja master, and that's really the only good thing I ever did with him. Other than that, Langeborg, Gilliam here. This guy, Gilliam, right here, this little cardinal dude. We're gonna do some John Madden circling here. This guy right here. This guy is about as good as Langeborg. Maybe worse. Maybe worse. He's like glorified unicorn. I, I from playing as him, it's almost like now I just have to stick to heels, cause like his intelligence is just absolute trash. Like he has garbage intelligence. 65 intelligence for a cardinal. He has 275 MP. Like, this is, like, the worst. This could potentially be the worst knight in the game. Magic pool of 190. I'm, I'm just saying, for his class, his level, everything that's there, he could potentially be the absolute worst knight in the game of Renarzia. So it's like I've got a Langeborg on my team. <laughs> you know, it's sort of like that. It's kind of like that, I guess. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have a quite powerful front line, I have to say that. They've got a bunch of range. They have a lot of range, actually. I really don't know how far forward I should push with this, but... That looks good. 
I'm pretty happy about that. That looks really good. I'll just keep this so that you can't gain a heal. Okay, sorry. So they're coming to me right here. So the battle is basically engaged. The battle of Shumli. I'm attacking here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say goodnight to YouTube here. All the people that'll be watching this on YouTube later on. But people in Twitch, stick around a minute. We're gonna take a minute break. The stream's gonna go down and I'll restart it and we'll continue from here. So I'm splitting these into two segments. So our Twitch gets, or YouTube gets this segment and that segment. But um, yeah, so you get a minute break. The stream will be down, so there won't be anything to see. But if you just hang out here for a minute, I'll, I'll come right back on. Um, but uh, thanks, YouTube, for watching. Please give some likes and subscribes. That's awesome. I'm really happy we're actually growing subscriptions quite fast, quite readily. Can you help me? Can you help uh, Team Trigger get to 1,000 subscribers? That'd be amazing on YouTube. And uh, thanks for the subscriptions on Twitch, too, for everybody that's on Twitch. Also, that's pretty awesome. I really do appreciate that. And uh, tomorrow, from what is today, which today is uh, Wednesday, Today is the 22nd, uh, Wednesday. Tomorrow is going to be, for YouTube, the next fight of the Morelva team, the Morelva LP fighting Aurora. So we're going to see how well we can do against Aurora. We're going to see if we can maybe do something amazing. I don't know. We'll see what we can do with Aurora. But it'll be a boss battle against Aurora, so that'll be on YouTube. So please go by and check that out. And if you haven't, check out the uh, boss battle against the other boss that that we did we kind of got a record breaking thing there on youtube got four turns to kill the boss on hard mode which i don't think anybody else has ever done yet um but uh we're gonna have something uh pretty cool tomorrow so i also have to like you know uh, get that you know get it up there and uh that'll be fun that'll be fun to play against that but that that will be just for youtube so most of the stuff is going to be for Twitch. I'll probably fight. I might do it the same way in the future. I might fight like a boss on Twitch and then put it to YouTube and then later on just fight uh, the other side of the boss and just put it on a YouTube video just so I can keep moving on with LPs at the moment because I'd like to keep going forward. But yeah, yeah, basically um, that's about it for YouTube. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, do the thing you need to do. And uh, let me know your thoughts about this game down below and all that sort of stuff. So have a great day, and I will see you later, YouTubers. And for Twitchers, hang out for a minute. We'll be right back.